Hi and welcome to my channel. So there's very good news because the UK is recruiting unskilled workers. This is something that I get asked all the times by people messaging me and saying, Melvis, you're talking about these healthcare opportunities which are absolutely amazing in the UK, but what about free visa sponsorship for those of us that want to come to the UK to do unskilled worker jobs? So that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video and saying to you that they have approved 55,000 visas for 55,000 overseas workers that will be moving to the UK this 2024 to take over those unskilled work jobs. So if you're new to my channel, you're obviously welcome as usual. If you are a returning subscriber, absolutely do appreciate your time. And I hope that you're implementing what I'm talking about rather than just watching video after video. So leave a comment in the comment section and say, Melvis, I will implement this because in today's video, I'm going to be telling you which jobs are included in these 55,000 visas, what the requirements are, and indeed who is potentially recruiting for these 55,000 job opportunities. So if you haven't joined this family, take this opportunity to hit the subscribe button below so that you're the first person that is notified every single day when I drop a new video on here at 10 a.m. Prompt UK time. So I dedicate my time, my knowledge, my experience and everything to make sure that you're the first person that is informed about the best opportunities that the UK has to offer. Free visa sponsorship opportunities to move so you're not spending thousands of pounds, you're not getting bankrupt without what you want, worse still without ever even making it to this amazing country so if you need to contact me personally by the way check the comment section below you're going to see my contact details there's my whatsapp number as well as my email address so that if you need to discuss your own specific circumstances then you're more than welcome to do so if you need one-to-one -one guidance then also i do offer that but most importantly I do have a free newsletter where I share information such as this directly to your inbox. You're not reliant on the YouTube algorithm for such vital information that is crucial for your personal and professional development. So check the comment section below. You're going to see that newsletter is free to join. You drop your name and email and you're part of it. It will not take you 22 seconds to be able to do that. It's going to take you a lot less. So there's no excuse why you should not join that newsletter if you're watching this video at this point in time. One of the things I'm going to say is, if you're wanting to move overseas, the first thing that you do is to get your passport. Getting your international passport is not even that the opportunity is there yet. Many of these opportunities, if you're not ready when they come, you will not be able to make it because the application window is so incredibly short that only people who are ready at that point in time will make it. I keep saying it here. Every opportunity is tailored to a specific group of people. And if you don't have those requirements and you're not ready when it becomes available, you don't have access to first-hand information, you will not make it. So if you're watching my videos, you need to make sure that you're on sleek. You need to make sure that you're smart and you're ahead of the game and part of the top 1%. So leave a comment in the comment section below and say, Melvis, I have got my passport. If you don't have your international passports, please, you need to make sure that you apply for that passport because it is a mandatory requirement for all of these opportunities irrespective of the country where you're going so what jobs are obviously included in this opportunity these are like farm jobs you know you've got poultry um you know workers you've got people that are harvesting fruits and veg you've got horticulture so that's like flowers and things you've got also like these are opportunities that are unskilled jobs so which means that you don't need any degree you don't need any experience. You don't need any qualifications whatsoever to put yourself forward for these opportunities in the UK, which means that if you're watching this, you don't need to worry about anything. Oh, Melvis, do I need to have any courses? Oh, what about a degree? Oh, what about this? You don't need any of that. You know, you don't need any of that. And by the way, as I'm going along, if you've got any questions or any concerns, do leave that in the comment section below because I'm going to join you in the comment section to be able to provide more information if needed. But do make sure that if you're asking something, it should be what I've not spoken about. Because if you ask me something that I have just explained in this video, I'm going to say to you, that's exactly what this video is all about. So do make sure you watch it till the very end in order to get all of the details and all of the juiciness that obviously this has to offer. Like I've said, there are 55,000 visas for this. And again, some people 
get worried about the country where they are from, whether it's eligible or not. So leave a comment in the comment section below. Which country are you from? Where are you at the moment? You know, if you're thinking, oh, am I eligible? Can I apply for this? Of course you can. But which country are you from? I would just like to know that diversity, you know, who is here, where you're watching from and all that. So leave your country in the comment section just so that I can have an idea of all of that. So again, when it comes to the application process for this, it's something that is very, very simple, but it's about attention to detail. And this is something that many of us miss. You know, when you look at applications, there are lots of, I, I want to say near misses, because these are not things that people do intentionally, because why would you be intentional about not completing your application very well? So again, it's about that being intentional about your application, making sure that you're cutting all of your T's and you're dotting your I's because it is competition. You know, I like to say to people when you're applying for a job is that like you're competing against other candidates. You need to look at it as competition because that is what it is. I have people who are like, hey, Melvin, this is the best I could do. No, it's not about your best. It is about being the best candidate overall from everybody that has applied. That's the difference. That's the sort of competitive spirit that you need. I'm somebody that when it comes to job opportunities, I'm the most competitive person ever. And if I'm going for any opportunity, I make sure that I am way ahead of all the other candidates. And guess what? Nobody stands any chance with me. If you're watching this, by the way, and this is what and it's your first time here. You know, my name is Melvis, obviously. And I started my journey as a carer, by the way, in a nursing home. And then I studied nursing in the UK as an international student. I've gone on to do two apprenticeships in this country. Um, so I was paid, you know, to work and study at the same time. My last apprenticeship, I was paid over fifty thousand pounds per year to study, you know, and work at the same time. And my tuition fees were paid as well by my employer. So when I come here, talking about these opportunities, these are legit but in its effort for you to put yourself forward so i now work as an advanced nurse practitioner which is the most senior clinical nursing job in the profession so i've got my own private career coaching program by the way i've had this for the last four years where i offer one-to-one -one tailored individualized and personalized guidance you're looking for those job opportunities in the uk you want to transition into nursing you're looking for opportunities where they'll pay you to work and study to become a nurse in the uk like this is amazing i think it's only the uk that offers this there's no other country that will pay you to work and study at the same time it is crazy but these are opportunities that many people are not aware of i've shared loads of detailed videos on this channel about these opportunities but if you need that one-to-one -one guidance with all of these things i've spoken about then i'm your girl if you want to check out my coaching program obviously you need to be part of the top one percent of people that like me are interested and invested in personal and professional development then you're welcome to check the description box below or the about section of this channel for more information about that program also share this video, by the way, with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, so that they're aware of what these opportunities are, but most importantly, encourage them to put themselves forward. So when it comes to this particular opportunity that we're talking about, how on earth do you apply? But before we get into how to apply, by the way, let's talk about what are some of the T's and C's that you need to know. One thing that the UK does is that when it comes to unskilled worker jobs, they do not offer permanent visas. This is something that I'm like, you must be aware of, it, of because if you apply for any unskilled job in the UK, you can get visa sponsorship, you can move to the UK, but they never give you a permanent visa. This means that the time spent on this visa doesn't count towards the five years that you need to get indefinite leave in the UK, which means that you need to be very careful when you apply for these because I've seen so many people stuck in this country because they've applied for these temporary jobs saying to themselves, when I get to the UK, it's going to be so easy for me to switch to something more permanent. So why not come to the UK on this pathway? You need to be careful. Because when you're still out of this country, it seems as though any pathway to get here is going to be good. But let me tell you, it is not. Sometimes it is better to spend an extra year or two to get a permanent job and move to the UK once and for all and focus on career progression rather than using some of those pathways that are a little bit tricky if you're not somebody who is in the position to pull that through. So be very careful when you choose to apply for these jobs because that is the catch. But I like to share these opportunities as a way of kind of getting your feet wet, getting into the room to then see what else is there. So you need to be very smart if you choose to apply for these opportunities to move to the UK to make sure that 
you have a plan B. If you don't have a plan B, hmm, it's going to be very messy. Don't apply for these opportunities. That's what I'm saying. You know, I like to be very honest with you. I like to give you info that is going to be real. I mean, it's tough love, but that is the reality of it because there are thousands of people stranded in the UK and I think that they could have done themselves the massive favor of not being stranded here. So there is an amazing company, by the way, that is called Fruitful Jobs that, that recruits candidates for this opportunity. Oh my God, I need water. That recruits candidates, obviously, for this opportunity. So if you're considering applying, then that is a company that you definitely want to check out. And I know that every year they are always looking for new companies to get these contracts. And so I'm going to keep an eye so that any new company that is added onto that list where they can recruit overseas workers with this opportunity, obviously, you're going to be the first person to know because I will definitely share this here with yourself. But like I've said, you know, this is a temporary visa. It is not a permanent visa. So if you're applying, do make sure that you've got all your ducks in a row and you know exactly what everything entails and that you're able to come out of it with a perfect plan B. And one of the things also is that when it comes to family, you need to assess your situation. Do you want to move to the UK with your family? Are you already in this country? Are you looking to switch? What about the possibility of extending your visa? Is that something that you would be interested in? Again, those are all the questions that you need to ask yourself. And that is why one-to-one -one guidance is something that is always crucial because that is where you get those questions answered. I'm just doing this as a YouTube video. I mean, I've got no idea who's going to watch this. I don't know if you're watching this for yourself, for your family. You're just bored. You're like, hey, what's she on about? Let me just have a look. Or you're somebody who is really interested in moving to the UK or indeed you're, you could already even be in the UK. I have got no idea. So whatever the case may be, do make sure that you're finding information that is tailored to your specific circumstances. Because with all the changes that the UK government has implemented, you don't want to mess around with generic information that is not tailored to you. You want to make sure that you're saving out from all of this noise that is on YouTube and social media and all of that. And you are getting info that is specific to your own personal circumstances. That is what's powerful. That's what really does make the difference. And I think this is where... Many people are lost. They don't know where to get started because there's a lot of information. You watch this video, then you see the next video moving one day, all moving two days, all changes, all good news, all bad news. Look, I empathize with all of you that are looking for visa sponsorship because there's all too much noise out there. But it's your duty as an adult to see about that info. If you're part of my coaching program this week on Thursday, we're going to go through much detail about this particular opportunity so that if you're interested to apply, then you're more than welcome to do so. And I'll make sure that you understand all the T's and C's. So if you need to contact me, check the comment section below. Check this other video right here.